Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. And if you find that you're liking this video or any of my videos, please smash that like button. The more likes, the more people get to an opportunity to see this video in their feed and click on it and, and those type of things. So I'm up here in Blue Canyon Airport. If you saw my last video, uh, I was doing a trip up to Blue Canyon Airport, and then I was going to head down to the Yuma area to an observation site called Alpha, Alpha Scorpia and uh, meet up with Jason, AKA AZ Forerunner. If you haven't seen his channel on YouTube, I would strongly suggest that you uh, check it out. Well, Jason and I were just uh, chatting on Facebook and I also want to remind you that I do have a private group called Astro Vagabond and Friends on Facebook. If you'd like to join, just hit the join button and let you in. We've been sharing some information about our images, uh, helping each other with uh, questions that we may have, those type of things, a small little community, and we welcome uh, more people to join. I know you probably belong to a lot of Facebook groups already, but I just wanted to let you know there's one more. And also be sure and check out the links to Amazon in the video description if you're an Amazon shopper and you use one of my links to go to Amazon. And even though you don't buy anything at the end of my link, but you purchase something within 24 hours, we'll get some affiliate marketing credit and that gives us a few pennies to help uh, produce this content. So as I was saying, I was chatting with uh, Jason, AKA AZ4 runner about the weather down in the Yuma area. And it looks real iffy at this point. So I've decided not to travel down to Alpha Scorpia down in the Yuma, Arizona area of this new moon. Instead, I am gonna stay up here and work on imaging up here. I'll stay an extra night. I was gonna do a travel day on Thursday, but I will now stay here Thursday night as well. I wanted to give you an update on uh, my progress last night, but before I do that, I just wanna mention uh, what you see behind me here is my solar panel ar array portable solar panels. And uh, back here, I'm charging up my Jackery Explorer 1500. And that 1500 drives my Starlink, plus manages the Edge HD8 gear, plus my EQ6R mount. I also have a Jackery 1000. I use that to drive the uh, gear for my Xenostar and the HEQ5 mount. And then inside I have an Explorer 240, a Jackery Explorer 240, and I use that to power my laptops uh, that I may use. Now my van also has a 170 watt solar panel on top, and it has two uh, 100 amp hour AGM batteries. And with that, I can recharge all my tablets, cell phone. I have a HP computer that has a 12 volt uh, power adapter that I can plug it into the van's system. So I'm, I'm well set up with power and if you're going to become a traveler you want to pay particular attention to what power you may need. I often see threads on cloudy nights about what size, how many amp hours do I need and uh, there's um, so you want to make sure you have enough power. There's a simple way to do it and that's really just figure out how many amps each of your devices need and then build a little table and that'll help you, uh, help you uh, determine that. So anyway, uh, using the free sun to recharge my jackeries and um, very nice that we have a nice, beautiful uh, sunny day with very uh, few clouds. So, um, you know, I came up here and I think I said in my last video that I viewed this time as administrative time. And what I meant by that is from time to time, I need to set aside time where it's not gonna be devoted to imaging per se, but it's gonna be devoted to taking care of issues that I might have and other things that I need to do. And I recently moved my eight position filter wheel over to my Edge HD8. Prior to that, it was on my Xenostar Z61. So I came up here really to reestablish my filter offsets using Nina, a very uh, cool feature where you can 
set those offsets using a plugin called Darks Customs, and then the focuser knows where to move to the proper focus point for each of your filters, and that can save you time uh, during the course of the night. I did a similar thing when I was using Nina with my Xenostar Z61 in the early days. So I knew that I was gonna have to come up here and I was going to have to uh, work with a couple of parameters like step size, uh, backlash, overshoot, and those type of uh, parameters. I spent some time last night and uh, I was doing pretty good with my luminous RGB filters. I ran into a little issue with my HA uh, S2 and O3, my uh, narrowband filters. Probably didn't bump up my exposure time enough for those filters. But again, uh, I knew I was gonna have to deal with this and so I was not disappointed or anything. No issues with Nina, it ran great. And my guiding was really good last night with my EQ6R uh, Pro. So, you know, I'll continue tonight to establish my filter offsets and again, work with the parameters that are available in different combinations to see how I can optimize setting focus for each of my uh, filters. Now, it's very important that the filters be uh, manually folk in my view manually focused first where you know where that focal point is at a minimum for the uh, luminous filter all right so that's uh, about it i tried to shoot the blue horsehead nebula with my xenostar 61 but it is so low in the sky up here if i was down in uh, yuma uh, it would have been a, a a better opportunity for me i did collect some data but then I ran into some guiding metrics that really just didn't look good. I couldn't see it showing up in my uh, sub exposures. I was running uh, three minute exposures doing R, G, and B. So I'll take a look at that data. I got through the R and the, the G. So tonight, what I'm gonna try and do is just focus on my edge uh, HD8 because I find sometimes trying to work on two different things at the same time, I'm not real good at that. You may be, but I'm not real good at that. I do much better if I uh, work with things in a sequential manner. So I'll spend some more time, uh, hopefully tonight. The target will come available around 11.30 and be available until about 3.30 in the morning where it's above 25 degrees in altitude. So. Other than that, that's uh, about it, an update. I'm uh, disappointed that the weather uh, was not uh, more solid as far as a forecast for uh, the Yuma area. I would have liked to have gone down and met with Jason, and I understand Iceman Astro might have been out there and just meet some of the people that image down there. I'm basically all by myself here. Uh, one person, a visual uh, observer, came in around 11 o'clock last night and set up for a little bit and then uh, took off. So uh, very nice up weather up here right now in the Sierras at the 5,000 foot level. I will say that being up in elevation again, I used to have a house up here at the 6,400 foot level. So uh, this higher elevation is uh, making me a little bit uh, tired. And uh, so I pulled the plug last night around uh, one o'clock in the morning with my uh, filter offsets and then uh, uh, went to sleep. It had been a long day. I was up at six, drove up here. Uh, but the drive up here is beautiful. It's three and a half hours from my house, much better than driving seven, eight hours down to Landers. So I'm very happy that the snow melt has occurred here and this uh, club site is now available for us to use. All right, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And I may get this video up, uh, it's Saturday. No, what is it? It's, uh, it's Wednesday. I may get it up early enough that some of you may see it. And if you have experience and would like to share what settings work for you with your Edge HD 8 and uh, your filters uh, using Nina when establishing uh, your autofocus runs, uh, feel free to share them in the comments. Uh, any uh, any uh, input would be helpful. 
but I'm, uh, I think I'm on the right track and I just need to spend a little bit more time uh, making some adjustment in the parameters to get the optimum uh, uh, result uh, using the Darks Customs filter offset calculator. All right, again, I hope this new moon weekend uh, comes along with uh, clear skies for you. Other than that, see you next time.